When it comes to aftermarket parts, it's probably not a good idea to just assume that everything fits. Checking is, uh, I think, a, a good idea. And uh, so there's some aftermarket parts here. This is a Dodge NV4500 five-speed transmission. These transmissions, they have a problem with fifth gear sometimes coming loose. This locking nut here will sometimes back off of the thread and then the fifth gear can uh, come loose as well. So there's an after aftermarket parts here. Uh, so this is a locking device that is not normally with this transmission. So what it does is it slips over the locking nut in four locations and it also utilizes the splines up here. So and that uh, locks the, uh, the, the nut into place. So I wanted to know when that transfer case, when those splines right there slip onto here, is there still enough room left over? Because if, if the end of that shaft would bottom out against this device, which is not normally there, it's an aftermarket piece, if, if, if it would bottom out there and everything is bolted together and if it would actually put preload on the bearings it could cause uh, a bearing failure. So I wanted to know well how much room is there between here and the end of that shaft and when it's all bolted together I can't just easily look in there and uh, and see or, or measure. So just to give an idea how this fits together this is the cover This is more like a two-hand operation. It's working. Okay, so now you can see how that cover goes on there. But before I put the cover on, I took some little pieces of bread that still had moisture in it, and I, I laid that bread on uh, that uh, locking device down in there. Then I took the transfer case, I lifted that up, and I slid that down into position, and then pulled the transfer case off and pulled the cover off, and then uh, I had a look at the bread to see how much the bread was compressed. I did this procedure maybe about a week ago. I didn't throw out the bread, so it's been uh, in the shop here drying out. And what I did is I cut it so that I could get a cross section to see what was going on. And so this little groove here, see that's, that's the end of the transfer case. And so the flat spot here, that will be that locking device, you know, creating a flat spot there. And that's how close that's how close that uh, transfer case, the end of the spline, or the end of the shaft for the transfer case comes. So I measured that to be about a sixteenth of an inch. And let's see how this one looks. Yeah, so you can see the the definite line there where the transfer case came down. So about a sixteenth of an inch, you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. There's no problem with that. So anyways, here's a video for you guys using bread as a measuring device. Anyways, guys, thanks for uh, checking it out.